I love to design buildings and bridges, watching floor plans, all that construction, it's so, so cool. So should I go into architecture or should I go into engineering? What is the difference between architecture and engineering? It's one of the most common questions and a question that I personally also asked when I started my college career. There's a decent amount of overlap, but personally there's actually a lot of differences between the two different professions. Personally, I went with engineering, but I also took a massive, massive ton of creative classes back when I was still a college and I actually dated an architect, but that's a story for another day. So because of that reason, I think what makes me unique in answering this question is that I'm pretty neutral with both sides. And uh, so I'm gonna try to paint a picture about the differences in today's video. Both of these professions cater towards pretty different personality types. So they're both really, really awesome, but there are pretty key differences. And I think the last one is probably gonna be the most important difference. So definitely stay around for the last point that I'm gonna be making in this video. So stay tuned if you're new here, subscribe because I pump out a whole bunch of career, lifestyle, different kinds of videos around that topic, college-based videos, and um, let's start exploring. The first huge difference between the two is that architecture is focused much, much more on the artistic side, whereas engineering, on the other hand, is focused much, much more on the technical side. Now, with that being said, there is actually a practical aspect of architecture too, but it's focused much, much more about the functional aspect, whereas engineering, on the other hand, is focused purely on pure math and technical calculations. If you're someone that loves to draw and be super creative, architecture would definitely appeal much, much more to you. If you're someone that enjoys doing heavy math and understanding the science to how the buildings are put together, you probably prefer engineering. But with all this said, you do still need to have knowledge of math and science to become an architect, but it's really a different kind of math and science. And it is a very, very important aspect to know, which I'll go into into the next couple of points. So the second point is going to be all about the academic aspect of it. Architecture school is typically about five years, whereas engineering school on the other hand is typically about four years. Another huge difference is that to physically get into architecture school, a lot of times they might require some sort of portfolio where you have to put together a collection of different drawings, artworks, designs, and things that you've done. Whereas in engineering on the other hand, engineering to get into engineering school is purely basically focused on your math and science accomplishments your typical scores, what you've accomplished in the math and science world, how good you are in that aspect, are you good with computers, and all that kind of stuff. By that logic, you can also argue that architecture school is probably technically slightly more expensive just because it's five years as opposed to four years. The architecture curriculum also tends to be a lot more well-rounded in my opinion, often letting you take classes in much more liberal artsy subjects like the history of architecture, both math and science classes, and also a lot more creative and drawing studio-based classes. Engineering, on the other hand, tends to focus much, much more purely on the math and science, so it's not really as well-rounded. This was actually one of the things that I personally did not like so much about engineering school, since I tend to be a little bit more adventurous and enjoy actually exploring many different classes. Now, with that being said, I did actually take many, many creative classes, but the majority of the classes I took, I actually took them purely out of interest. I never took them because I was required to they were really really purely because I just really was interested in the topic and wanted to explore it and to accomplish this I actually also often had to overload or even take classes during the summertime so I'm definitely a very very huge anomaly compared to what probably most people will go through in engineering school but one way they are similar is be prepared to work hard and have many many late nights in both programs the next huge difference is really about the personality and typical mindset of someone that would excel in architecture versus someone that would excel in engineering. Architecture tends to be a lot, lot more open-minded and a lot, lot more open-ended and creative. It's not super black and white, whereas engineering on the other hand is insanely black and white. Architects tend to be much, much more big picture, so because of that reason, they really have to understand a little bit of everything. How the building is put together, the functional aspect, they still need to know a little bit of math and science, but also about the artistic aspect of putting a building together. They look at a building and focus on almost every aspect of it, from the floor plan to the aesthetics, to also the function and how the building will physically be used. Engineers, on the other hand, tend to be much more detailed, focused purely on the frame of the building, how thick and what kind of steel or concrete we have to use. 
most of the stuff in engineer designs will never actually get seen. So in a lot of ways, if you compare it to humans, engineers basically create the bones and the organs of the body. Whereas architects basically design the skin and the look, and you can even argue the layout of the typical human body. So next, we're gonna be looking at the career aspect. What are you gonna be physically doing when you actually work in the profession beyond the school world? As a result of designing the inside of the building versus the outside and the aesthetics, that's also the reason why typically architects are also going to have much, much more recognition for their work, whereas a lot of engineers typically really, really will be working from behind the scenes. That's why if you ask common society to name architects, I can bet you most of them can name a massive ton of architects. Renzo Piano, I am Pei, Frank Lloyd Wright, whereas with engineers, pretty much unless you invent a very particular patent or make a particular contribution to engineering, and even then, most engineers will almost never get heard, especially outside of the engineering community. That's why when it comes to famous engineers, it really only comes down to like, John Roebling with the Brooklyn Bridge, Gustav Eiffel with the Eiffel Tower, um, and the Sears Tower guy, Fazler Khan. And guess what? None of these people are even active anymore. I actually really think the only famous structural engineer that's even still active might be Santiago Calatrava. And honestly, he's technically even, he doubles as an architect, so I'm not even sure if he technically counts, since he's much more famous for his architecture ventures than his actual engineering venture. Now, I actually can recognize a lot of famous civil engineers, but again, that's largely because I actually worked in the industry. But if you talk to people outside of the engineering world, I can bet you that very, very few people can even name one famous civil or structural engineer. So if you enjoy having recognition in your work, you might actually prefer architecture a little bit more than engineering. This is another huge difference, but I think that because architects tend to be a lot more in the spotlight, I also think that typically architects, now this is a lot more from just personal experience, so it really, really depends. There's not really like an exact fact to it, but I personally think that architects tend to be a little bit more extroverted and social in personality, whereas engineers, on the other hand, tend to be a lot more introverted, in my opinion. Um, again, funny enough, I actually did in an architect, and we actually did get very much along, but again, I'm a very, very huge anomaly because I never really felt like I lived out most of the stereotypes of a typical engineer since I was actually a lot more social outgoing and loved to just be outside where the action was. But again, this is a story for another day. I do also think that since architecture tends to be a little bit more subjective, it might take longer to prove yourself in the industry. And that's also why I think many architects also tend to progress in their career a little bit slower. You have a lot more, you have to have a lot more patience in my opinion, because I think most architects don't really fully shine until really, really late in their career. A lot of these architects like Frank Lloyd Wright, IMA, most of them got really, really big once they were basically in like their middle ages. Now granted, with that being said, a lot of them practiced their craft all the way until they were like 80. So it is definitely a very, very lifelong profession. To really head to the point, when you work as an engineer on a typical day, you'll probably be working on figuring things out like if I wanted to put a beam or a column there, how big does it have to be? What shape should we use? What bolts should we use to connect them? Is concrete better? How much weight can this frame support? You'll likely also have to think about stuff like how will heat and water flow through the building. Most of the time as an engineer, you'll actually almost rarely ever draw up a floor plan since most of the time, it's going to be the architect that designs the actual building. You'll have the floor plan pretty much already drawn and you'll be able to mark it up and make corrections, but all you're really doing is basically just placing beams, you might be able to move a couple columns or things there and there around, um, but that's why it's really, really detailed focus. You will draw, but most of the stuff you draw is very, very detailed. Like literally when you draw, you might literally just have like an actual beam and you're basically drawing like this beam is three feet on one side by two feet on another side and maybe it's an eye beam and you have to make the steel this thick so it's a very very detailed you're not looking at a giant floor plan you're basically looking at the specific column or the specific bolt within a building as an architect the first obvious is that you're going to be looking at the aesthetics of a building does it look aesthetically pleasing does it represent something related to its country or location? How does it look in relationship to the other buildings around it? But also, now to go into the science side, how the building will actually physically be used. 
that is why there is still a decent science to it because you have to think about how the physical building is going to be used by the people that are going to walk into it. Should I put the living room where most folks can watch the sunset or the sunrise? Would it be smart to put the kitchen right there if the dining room is all the way on the other side? And this is even more true with large buildings because that's when you really, really have to think about how people will enter or leave the building, how they're going to use it. If it's a hotel, maybe high ceilings will help create the illusion to make it look a little bit more open and more freeing and welcoming for guests. So architecture tends to be a lot, lot more scattered for that reason. You really, really have to understand the artistic aspect about what that building represents, um, but also some of the science aspect, whereas engineering is just purely, purely on science how much weight does the building have to be to support the materials, all that kind of stuff. So to really, really sum up this video, basically the huge difference, oh, and I'm gonna put it down probably in the description, so definitely click it, and I'm gonna try to write this out so you can really, really get it, since I know some people prefer um, learning through reading, and some people prefer talking, some people are auditory learners, some people prefer through like talk-to-talk, -talk, face to face camera. Uh, but basically, to summarize the difference, architecture, art, Engineering, math and science. Architecture, five years. Engineering, four years. Architecture, well-rounded. Engineering, very focused. Architecture, very, very diversified and very, very big picture. Engineering, very, very detailed. Architecture, architecture, more recognition. Engineering, much more behind the scenes. Architecture, super, super creative and artistic. Engineering, very, very black and white and straight to the point. Architecture, typically much slower in terms of your career progression. Engineering, typically much faster in how you progress in your career. Both of them, very, very cool in their own way and also very, very difficult and will involve very, very long hours but could be ultra fun if you find this as the perfect career profession for you. So hopefully this paints a pretty clear picture about the difference between architecture and engineering. Personally, even though I went into engineering, I actually have personally since then made a shift in career paths. So I actually don't work in the engineering space anymore, but I think it's actually better because it's because I don't work in engineering at this current time, I'm able to kind of answer this question on a much, much more neutral basis as opposed to someone who is an engineer and is of course going to say engineering and someone who is an architect and is obviously going to just say architect. This is also because I admittedly back in college was actually also pretty split brain. I actually never really fitted into really, I feel like I never really fitted into like one side particularly. I was very, very split brain in the sense that like my best subjects in school were actually math and science. But with that being said, I also had a very, very strong passion for a lot of the creative, um, creative careers. I love to draw, make music, and do a lot of the creative work. If you have any questions, drop them down below, or maybe comment which one do you prefer, or which one are you leaning towards? Do you think you're leaning towards becoming an architect, or do you think you're leaning towards being an engineer more? Or maybe comment if you're sort of undecided, maybe you're not totally sure, um, and that's totally okay. I wasn't totally sure back then either, and even when I was into my engineering program, I still wasn't sure. So hopefully this video helped to paint the difference between architecture and engineering. Um, if this video helps, maybe subscribe for more because I'm always pumping out new videos about things like career, college, self-help, all sorts of different topics that I think apply to a lot of people that are in college and people that graduated from college too, since that's where I'm at right now. Thank you so much for coming by and wherever you are in your engineering or life journey in general, Keep building, keep working at it, keep living, and keep engineering.